Hello world, it is Thursday, June 1st, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's a beautiful sunny day, warm already, uh, never really got that cool last night, and a little on the humid side, um, summer weather in the Midwest, I guess, and I think it's supposed to be in the 90s today. The devotion for today is entitled, That COVID Communion Cup by Donna Shaper. <clears throat> Excuse me, Donna bases the devotion upon 1 Corinthians 11, verse 24. King James Version. Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And then Donna writes, In hopes not to trivialize an important matter, the incarnation of God and Jesus in flesh and blood, I request special permission from the reader. If you like those small communion cups that have a wafer on top of them, cost 31 cents from Amazon. If you, bought, if you bulk buy 100, likely made somewhere deep in China and likely homogenized for perpetuity, please read no further. I'm not trying to insult those who fed us with Jesus and kept the ritual going. Thank you for your service. When I was at a communion service last week and the people adjacent couldn't open their wafered cup, I vacillated between tears and laughter. Their effort reminded me of nothing like getting home from Costco and having to get a chainsaw to get into the packages I had bought. When they finally gave up, my pew mates said way too loudly, the hell with it. I decided to put my crumb and drop down too. Instead, I did what actors do when they improvise. I did a pantomime and I communed in person with the 200 in the room. I ate make-believe bread and drank make-believe wine and believed its power with or without material elements. The spirit is in the invisibility, invisible invisibility of it all. Anyway, the next time virus threatens, I intend to use gestures and not pay for improvisation, improvisation. And then Donna's prayer. Touch us, O God, with the meaning of your body broken for us and your blood spilling for us and help us get over the right way to do it. Amen. Well, this devotion brings up all kinds of thoughts for me, and I think one of the most important ones is that communion um, is meant for, just in the base word, to commune, to be one together um, with the people in the church or with you, whom you're communing. Um, and then if you believe in, with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, um, it, it, that's really the intent behind it, I think. Um, there's also brought up um, thoughts of my own um, upbringing in the Catholic Church and in the belief that the in the um, in the service that the uh, bread and the wine and in the Catholic Church it was always wine are literally literally become the body and blood of Jesus Christ, even though they still taste like bread and and wine. Um, and it also made me think of a report when um, there was some kind of furor within the Catholic Church that um, communion wafers, and they use wafers primarily in the, communion, in the Catholic Church, had to be made from wheat and couldn't be made from gluten-free flour. Gluten-free um, communion wafers weren't acceptable because Jesus' body can't be transformed from gluten free flour I don't know it just seemed kind of strange to me and it was for me just missing the point it's about recognizing um, our oneness together in Christ if you're a Christian but our oneness together um, and reminding of ourselves of how we are on this earth on this earth together we commune together anyway those are my thoughts I'm gonna be uh, kind of on a mini sabbatical for three weeks, so um, I'm not going to be doing this for the next three weeks, just taking a break from everything um, related to my responsibilities with church, and um, so I hope to get back in touch with you after I get back. Um, we have a wonderful pulpit supply. We'll be some, doing some different things while I'm gone. Um, I think one of the things he'll be doing is a series on hymnody, so reading scripture and that uh, and then singing hymns that are related to the scripture or incorporate the scripture somehow 
Um, so it'll be a little different, um, I think, for the people who attend. So I hope you can still join us on Facebook Live or in person um, while I am on a little sabbatical. Hope to talk to you again in uh, three weeks or so.